This is the start of a video series I'm doing documenting a trailer build I'm doing for a 5x8 utility camper trailer. But first, this is a pre pre intro of my old trailer. And let's get rid of this wire mesh. This is from a 5x8 floor of the 5x8 trailer, carry on trailer that I bought. Remove that. But this is my old uh, utility slash camper trailer uh, I built years ago. And I built it small because it was for my Honda Civic. Um, and I now have a Subaru. Uh, but it did well. Uh, and I built it on a tiny Harbor Freight frame of the 48 inch wide by 40 long. I extended it, and one of the absolute best things I did was put this, it's probably a thicker gauge uh, material that I wanted. Um, it's heavier, it's uh, I think it's 3 8 thick steel, I forgot what gauge it is, but it's the extended trailer tongue, and um, I ran it through the whole length of the trailer, uh, extended the front and extended the back, uh, bolted it on, and it adds uh, so much more. Um, takes the flex out of the trailer, and it's been over um, just the roughest roads, four-wheel drive roads in Wyoming and Colorado, and um, that's part of the trailer. And it actually, I think... This uh, is so thick, I believe it actually weighed more or about as much as the original 40 by 48 Harbor Freight trailer. So, um, what I did with this trailer is I've got these uh, pin latches that hold the roof in. The roof slides out. Oops. Roof slides out so you can access stuff in here. I've got a bunch bunch of badly just storing stuff. It's badly uh, a lot of junk. Um, but you can lift the roof off and originally I uh, built these one by two frames that were hinged and uh, you could set the roof up as a camper frame and worked out really nice. He used it for years. Um, I had a piece piece here that um, slotted in and the whole roof uh, basically was a slant. I'll, I'll include the picture uh, in the description of the camper setup but had windows and really nice but the you know driving it off-road the hinges just kind of came rattling loose and I just I could have set them back up but I really didn't use it that much it's more of a utility trailer for a raft and that is it uh, to close it back up you just slide it latch the pins and I may end up selling this trailer not really sure or I might may keep it for off-road use um, Oh, also, I did a little, uh, used to put, when the raft was inflated, I would strap it to the top, which was really nice. Um, also had a bike rack, uh, you know, kind of a cheap bike rack there. You could lock it up, um, and it's covered in a bag, but that's where the fork's hooked on to. And that's it. That is... My small little Harbor Freight utility camper that I used for years. Oh, I forgot to mention I uh, got rid of the Harbor Freight Chinese axle and put in an American axle with thicker 1 16th inch stubs, um, axle stubs, and put in larger tires. Uh, one of the other best things I did, but... That is the trailer. Oh, I forgot to... I made this little toolbox 
Eh, don't really need to see it, but you put tools, jacks, spare tire, whatever in the front. Works out really nice.